breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. How gunmen killed my seven months pregnant wife? Ebu Biago, Commander Opunzer. How gunmen killed my seven month pregnant wife? Ebu Biago, Commander Opunzer. To my dear listeners, From wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. He narrated how gunmen stormed his house and shot thirty seven months pregnant wife, Urema. The commander of Ebu Biago's security network in Afikpo South Local Government Area of Ebony State, Kaluchima, has told this heartbreaking story. He narrated how gunmen stormed his house and shot 37 months pregnant wife. Urema The gunman also burnt his two houses in the attack on New Year's Day. A nation had reported how gunmen invaded Chima's house in Amaoso Amaititi. Amaoso died in the local government area and shot Urema dead. Chima told the nation, reportedly in Abakaliki, that the attack was an offshoot of the recent clashes between supporters of two political heavyweights in Ekoli, Ada in the same local government. He said, on 1st January 2023, I was sleeping in my bed with my wife and my two kids when I heard a gunshot in front of my house, which woke me up immediately. I walked to the window and opened the curtain and saw men with AK-47 rifles, numbering about 19, and I know them all. One of them who is the coordinator of one of the development centers in our local government, was positioning them, ordering, dra- ordering them to condone of my house. Some of them hit my door twice. I told my wife, let's run away. Because of my wife's pregnancy, she couldn't run. When the door was hit, the third one, I left my wife and my children in the backyard. I jumped the fence and landed on where villagers throw waste. I laid there and I heard the last gunshot and my wife shouted and couldn't stop again. They poured fuel on my two houses and set them on fire. I called my PA to go and see what is happening in my house. When he got there, they have finished everything. They have finished everything they were doing and he saw the dead body of his wife and his two kids there. I called one of my neighbors who assisted me because I was no longer in order and they came and assisted in carrying my wife's dead body to the mortuary and deposited it. As I'm talking to you, the coordinator of one of the development centers in the local government who led the group has been arrested. 
He is in the crack office of the state police command in Abakaliki here. Others are on the run, but the police are seriously looking for a way to arrest them. This group of people went and burnt the state APC's chairman's house and killed his brother. Unfortunately, police shot one of them. In the leg that day, they perpetrated the act. He ran to Wafial in Abia State with the bullet. He was finding a way to remove the bullet and he couldn't see it. The doctor there told him to get a police report before he can remove the bullet and he doesn't have any way to get the police report. He called one of them that followed them and attacked my house and told him that he should beg me as the commander of a Bubiagu to meet DPO to give him a police report for him to use so that the doctor can remove the bullet from him. I met the assistant commissioner of police and reported it to him. The commander of the Bubiago security network in Afikpo South local government area of Ebony State, Kalu Chimana told his outbreaking sto story. So my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop out the comments section.